Hello! Welcome to my channel. My name is Krista Llewellyn and I am a makeup artist and a makeup educator. And today I'm going to show you how I created this wood nymph inspired makeup look. So let's get started from the very beginning. So I'm actually going to be working off of a reference photo I found on Pinterest. It's by the artist Jamie Jung and it's called Silvari Summer. I apologize if any of that in pronunciation was wrong, but I will post the image here as a reference. I really just like this sort of aesthetic. So that's sort of the vibe I'm going to be going for today. Come along with me on this journey. Yeah, so on that note, I'm going to zoom in a little closer. We're going to start with the face, then go through the rest of the body. But um, We'll see how it goes. But let's zoom in and get started. So I've already previously done all of my skincare and the first step is going to be getting these bad boys down and covered because I do want to sort of bring my eyebrows up a little bit. So I'm gonna cover those babies and we'll get started. So using a little bit of Prozade, I'm going to glue my eyebrows down and then I'm going to further cover them with a little bit of Prase cream. Uh, that way I get the texture down. So my brows are covered. Um, one is definitely done better than the other one. This one's a good one. This one's the not so good one. You know, we're just gonna go with it. But my brows are laid down and covered. I might try to color correct this, the tail area. I am going to be doing green skin, so it shouldn't matter too, too much, but I do want to sort of color correct the darkness that's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and talk to you in a sec. So 
So my next step is going to be my foundation. I'm going to be painting my skin green, but I'm going to be using a couple of different colors to get that highlight and shadow in there. And I'm also going to be prepping my face with a little bit of skin primer, and that way the grease paint will sit a little bit better on my skin. So I'm going to be using a Makeup Forever primer and my Makeup Forever flash palette as well. So I have my base on now and I'm going to start in on my eyes, prepping them first with a little bit of eye primer and then just kind of going ham and doing a cool beauty woodsy nymph look. So let's get into that.
So I have my eyes sort of to where I want them. I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting and contouring on my face first. Then I'm gonna go back in doing brows, little detail stuff. And yeah, we're getting close. I say that and then I still have like all of this in my hair and stuff to do, so. We're just gonna keep going with it. Okay, so I have on my blush, contour, a little bit of highlight. I also added a few little freckles on there just to sort of like make it a little cuter. Now I'm gonna go in and do some brows and a few other accent stuff. Oh. Okay, so now I have my brows on there. They're a little bit higher up than I would like, and I always sort of forget that I have a really tiny forehead. And a lot of the looks that I do sort of requires that forehead space. So my face is looking a little long, but we might try to fix that with styling my hair. So this is a drag uh, wood nymph look, I would say. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in and put a little bit of eyeliner on, uh, mascara and some lashes. And then after that, we'll do lips and then hair and then paint the rest of my body. And yeah.
Okay, well, that turned a little bit more drag than I expected it to. I tried to put on longer lashes towards the end here, uh, but these ones are rather large and ridiculous. And so, yeah, this is, this is where we're at now. But it kind of works because of these drag brows too, so. We're just sticking with it. She's having a good time in the forest, you know. So on that note, I'm gonna do lips, which I should obviously overdraw because all of this. So that's basically the makeup look. I'm going, I was gonna curl my hair, but I think I'm just gonna tease the ever-loving shit out of it and put a bunch of leaves and stuff in it. And I do wanna paint, oh, that's too much. I do wanna paint my arms as well. Cool, so I think I'm gonna do my hair and the rest of my body and arms off camera and then I'll see you for the reveal. So this is the full completed look. I did do my hand but I don't really like how it looks so I'm not going to include it in the pictures but I'm pretty proud of the result of this. It did go a little on the drag side, but I am mad at it. It's like a messy drag queen wood nymph, you know? But yeah, this is it. I put on a little bit of mouth effects just to get my mouth darker, a little more green. Yeah, that's the look. I hope you enjoyed watching this journey as I put the makeup on. I know it's a little bit different than my normal videos. I'm not quite as going in depth about the whole process, but I wanted to do something kind of fun. I didn't want it to take too long, although it is like three hours since I started. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button or go ahead and like this video too if you want to see more looks like this that are a little bit more fun and avant-garde that aren't necessarily so educational. If you like the educational videos too, you can go ahead and check out any of the other videos on my channel. Uh, my last video, I showed you how to break down and clean your airbrush gun. And there's a bunch of other really cool informative videos there as well. So you can go ahead and subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram at Krista Llewellyn MUA. That's where I'll be posting the final picture of this look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to film in any of these videos anymore. <laughs>